SiteSet provides a whole host of common predefined targets for you to use, but with the limited screen size on your iPhone or iPod, that can mean a lot of flicking backwards and forwards trying to find the exact one that you need. Surely there must be a way of making things simpler. Well actually there are two and that's what we're going to cover now. We've selected targets in other tutorials so you should be pretty familiar with what the targets window looks like. It lists all of the targets in the system split into four groups. Custom targets, which are the targets that you've defined, predefined small bore and light rifle targets, predefined high power and finally predefined air rifle. Great that there are so many but it can be a bit irritating if you only ever shoot say a few small ball targets. Hold on there's an edit button there. Well this probably wasn't what you were expecting. The custom targets that you've defined can be deleted and they really will be removed from the system never to be seen again. The system targets cannot be removed which is why a little padlock appears. So how do we remove the clutter? Two ways. The first control that we have operates on broad target classes and is found on the settings window under standard target lists. We can just flick the switches to turn off the categories that don't interest us, in this case high power and air rifle targets. And there we are. Don't worry, we've not made any permanent changes, we can just flick the switches back to restore the categories to full view. So this instantly gives us course control. But even then it's unlikely that you're going to use all of the remaining targets. Now fortunately each target has its own individual switch which allows you to control its visibility, allowing you to switch off any targets that you never use. And now when we change a scenario or add a new favourite, we've only the list of targets that we actually use to pick from. To summarise this video then, there are three ways of removing target clutter. We can delete targets, but only yours and they really do go. We can hide classes of targets and we can hide individual targets. In the next tutorial we're going to look at how you can customise the operation of SightSet by making adjustments on the settings screen.